Domain's property editor Alice Stoltz in Melbourne. Morning to you, Alice. Um, firstly, can you tell us which regions in particular have the most number of mortgages? Good morning, Jane. Good morning, Clint. Look, generally around Australia, the areas with the most mortgages are in the outer suburbs and also the growth corridors. You can see in, it's in Gosford in New South Wales and Blacktown also in Sydney and in Wynnum and Casey South in Victoria. Now, these are areas where we know that people are really doing whatever they can to kind of avoid mortgage stress. We're hearing of people taking second and third jobs, uh, trolleys that are only half full at a supermarket and really cutting back on any kind of even necessity mm. ju just to ensure they're not going to go under that mortgage stress as those interest rates roll over. So Alice, this is happening right now. Are people already being forced to sell? Look, Clint, interestingly, when we look at distress listings, they are actually down from where they were late last year. You can see in no parts of the country are they yet increasing. In Sydney, they're actually down, Brisbane down and Perth is down, which is a great thing. We're not seeing that signs of that mortgage stress. But I think in Australia, people will do whatever they can to hold on to their property. And I think we know that really what's going to ha happen in the next two to three months is really going to be indicative of how much pressure people are under. We have seen an uptick in auction listings of late, and that could be attributed to the mm. fact that people are selling their house before a bank steps in and does it, knowing that you're probably going to get a better price mm. doing it yourself than waiting for a bank to have to do a, a foreclosure sale, basically. Well, I mean, if you don't want to sell, what, what can homeowners do to get on the front foot? Look, I think, Jane, it's really about being in touch with your lender and I think there's absolutely no no issue at all with letting your lender know you are feeling like you're going staring down the barrel of a gun and you need assistance from them. It's not in their interest to, to, for, for you to lose your house. It's not in anyone's interest for, for that matter. So what we are hoping people do is get in touch with their lender. They'll help you review your budget. You can obviously restructure loans. There are issues with that, but at least have transparency with that institution around what the options are so you can avoid any anything further pressure wise and also look house prices for now are recovering so there is some solace that hopefully they stay on that trajectory for homeowners. Good to know the banks are getting billion dollar profits though isn't it? Oh, I know. Let's take a quick spin around Australia some of the most unique properties on the market right now Alice. An amazing one today, guys, in Hamilton Island. Now, this is talk about location, location, mm. location. Four bedroom, four bathroom, architecturally designed, beautiful private pl plunge pool. It's actually sold fully furnished and it even comes with a golf buggy, which is just what every house <laughs> needs, on the market for $4.2 million. Next, we're going to go to Whale Beach in New South Wales. This is an amazingly beautiful property, an oversized entertaining deck, sun, really gorgeous sunshine coming in, heated lap pool, and those views are just incredible. It's got an internal elevator, steam room, um, and a separate studio as well with views. I love that one, but it's 14.5 million. And finally, in Melbourne, we've got something a bit different for the Melbourne mm. scene. It's um, on the market for fi it's five bedroom, four bathroom. It's sort of this Palm Springs meets mid century. It's a beautiful location, Bryce, and it's sort of Melbourne's uh, answer to beachside living. Beautiful established gardens, and um, on the market for 10 to 11 million dollars. But I think that one particular is quite um, an unusual property and, and certainly different for that area of Melbourne. Very light and bright, isn't it? Mm, and, it is um, indeed. By the way, the bay is the beach in Melbourne. Yeah, right. It's our yeah. version of, it's, of, of your whale beach, beautiful. Jane. It's so it's tropical. Lovely. It's lovely, all tropical year round. Tropical Melbourne. <laughs> Thanks, Alice. We'll see you next weekend. It's been revealed homes across the country have made a huge amount of equity in just five years. Nine's Erin Ramsey is in Sydney with the details for us. Erin, good morning. Some Aussies are sitting on a gold mine. Good morning, Sophie. Yes, it's a, a boom in the burbs. Great news for those trying to sell this morning with new data showing that homes or areas rather that are over 20 kilometres from major cities have experienced major equity growth. Here in Sydney, those areas have seen a, seen a growth of half a million dollars. Other areas like on the northern beaches and the northwest, like here in Glenhaven where we are this morning, well, those areas have seen a growth of over a million dollars. These growths have been seen in uh, areas uh, around the country that are previously more affordable, some would say. And economists are saying that it's all attributed to the pandemic. People wanting to move to bigger properties where they would be spending more time at home. Uh, and even in Sydney alone, you know, house prices, they've seen a 5% increase compared to the start of the year. Uh, we're in Glenhaven this morning, over 40 minutes away from Sydney's CBD. This house behind me, well, it's expected to go for 
between 2.2 and 2.3 million dollars. So very good news for those who are trying to sell, but of course not relieving any pressure for those who are borrowing or trying to enter the market. Sophie? Yep, it's still difficult out there. Erin, thank you. Hey there today fans, Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my goodness, Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?